Hello, yes, good evening, yes, I'm here. Dear me. So, <laughs> I logged in a little early to make sure we got the um, encoder options, etc. Um, and this chap came along <laughs> and says, well, you, you can probably read it here. He said, uh, that's cool tank armour. And I just said, aye. He says, if Carlos gets on, can you let him know I happen to have a gift for him? Okay, that that would be me. I, I are Carl. I are Carlos. Um, so yeah, uh, he said he had a gift for me. So for the doc. So he's I don't know. He's he's missed out on the whole saga of um, yes, <laughs> the keeper somehow. And his 69 trader. Guessing he was wearing that armour. Well, thank you very much, my dude. He said it's a full set of CC300, which it is. Uh, on his... Uh, wrong. Get up, you silly man. It's got four more sets of it, apparently. I think some was very cheap the other day. Um, but today is high bees night, I think, unless people say otherwise. Uh, which is why I was logged in on my... Let's move this microphone a bit. Why I was logged in on my keeper when I logged the stream in. Thank you very much, sir. So he's also plays a couple of other characters you just mentioned there, which I've lost because, of course, I relogged to a different tune. Hard to believe it's Wednesday already. It felt like Sunday ten minutes ago. So I'm just waiting to see who arrives. Who have we got with us so far? Hey, a starkness has shown up, which is nice. And a couple of people I don't recognise the names of, but they may just be lurking. They may just be lurking. So he's going to have a go at the Foreman's Daily. Have a good day, Carlos. And you do. There we are. Yes. No, you. I'm a filthy lurker. <laughs> okay. I'm go spying in Newland. I am. I'm gonna go spy in Newland. Only for a little bit, late entry for work, so I can watch about ten minutes. Ooh, okay. Sounds very cool. Yeah, I always get on early in case I don't get the, um... Oh. Well, good go in me, eh? <laughs> Managed to get through a Wampa without actually being near it. No, no buff from Stella. Yes, I was just going to sneak over to um, Newland and see if I could spot a Sav. See if we can find ourselves a Savic. Late entry for work. My time slot's complete crap for you, are they, Starkness? I am sorry. I was thinking of uh, mixing it up a little, sort of going forward, so I could catch... Um, more American people or people in that time zone uh, so they could join in on the streams and stuff but it would mean me doing um, streams at silly o'clock at night so I don't know we'll have to see I'll see if I can 
manage it or not because it obviously depends how awake I actually am. Gone Imp shouts, hey Carlos, where's Gone Imp? Was that them? Disappearing off in the distance? Well, hello. Where are they down there? They were down there. Give them a wave. Oh, he's got the cool uh, helmet from last year's offer. Is that? He's a Nano Mage MP 197. Mm, doing well. The helmet's kind of cool on MP, I think. Just logging in. Yeah, I came down here to see. This is Savik's little hidey hole. It's where she logs. I know, I keep finding her here. Gamble, one, 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 one. Welcome to the stream. How the devil are you? I will land on you. Except you're not a solid, so I can't. <laughs> TS1969, good evening, yes. I thought we'd, uh, we'd put the lobies away today. Unless everybody wants me to play the dock. Um, but then we're going to be an episode behind because I've got an episode ready to release on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> so I'd rather do that. My MP is okay. Need to ding her a little more. Is this your MP, yeah? Wearing the Bazit Library? Why, why you? Why would you wear that? Um. Oh, a prototype. Interesting. Would you not use the Syndicate brain? Or was there something different in the... Because some of these prototypes are really good. Don't do SL. Well, how are you going <laughs> to... How are you going? You have to. You're not going to get any more XP after 200, are you? Famous last words may be the most frustrating quest. Yes, I had that yesterday. Uh, I completed it in six minutes. It's the quickest I've ever completed that quest. I couldn't believe it. Um, it was very strange. Every single book that I went to was a different one. It was just, what? <laughs> yeah, this Syndicate Brain for MP is quite nice. You should try it. Yes. I would blast you through the... Um, Adonis quest had I not already done that on a uh, on a stream the other day, the last time I think when you find a duplicate do you know what you do delete the one you've got and pick the duplicate up uh, it seems to respawn as a different one each time I think they've actually changed it or something, because that's what it was doing. Well, it was that's what it was doing for me. Which is uh, weird. Still no sign of Sav. I don't know if Sav's actually alive. Around, online, whatever. Told them both I'm live, there you go. The usual culprits. Did the Adono Brain quest up to the muddy drive, but that thing is wicked. Oh yeah, you won't you won't finish that. You're pretty close to the end then. To be honest with you. You've got um Dryad. After the Dryad you've just gotta go. Trying to think. I only did this yesterday. 
yeah, after the dryad, go tag the hecklers. That's quite easy. Just need a crap to calm them. Um, well, you've got to make the Moloch thing. Um, and then, what else? After him, then the guy all the way back north. And then kill the little guys. Then go to the Yutto at the porthole. And the Yutto at the porthole will give you... Um, go kill the end boss. So you're pretty close. You're pretty close. This is another one of yours, Gamel, is it? It's your 201 engineer. He looks pretty cool. Again, no head implant. I thought everyone went and got their syndicate brain. It's bloody useful on uh, the Engi one. Gummy trader. Nice. One four five. You can team with the two hundred. I think it was. Is it one four five? You can team with the two hundred. Yeah. So neither of you have done the Adonis brain quest, no? I mean, it, I could do the whole quest. I'll just bring a 220 and you just run around uh, talking to the NPCs. It's not hard. But I was kind of hoping Sav and uh, Mihaly could show up and we could go off and do a bit of raiding or something. Yeah, you need a lot of survivability with the um, Muddy Dryad because there's the tentacles in the water which will hit you if you're low-ish um, and as well as that um, he hits like a train and he knocks you into the water so you can't cast to heal yourself or anything really. And this is Gami Engi with a sword. Is that social you've got that in? Or are you actual melee Engi? You're a melee Engi. <laughs> the tentacles were just mad. Would well, you want me to get rid of the dryad for you? Can you get to Adonis? I'll come and kill him now if you like. He won't. He won't dent the uh, the keeper at all. What's your tune's name? TS1966. Well, again, right. Get yourself to Adonis. And on LFT. Have you still got the mission running? Right, I'm in the garden. That's why it's a good idea to do the Adonis garden key. It's remarkably easy to get to once you've got the key. <laughs> Right, get on looking for team. Yeah, your uh, mission should say something like... Um, I'm trying to think now. What does it say? It doesn't have a marker for the dryad, unfortunately. But it does... Um, tell you where to look. Say you. 
Oh, what level is your tune? I might not be able to see them on uh, LFT. Ah, there you go. Right. Yeah, you're too low for XP. What do you want? 53. Yeah, you need 160 with a 220. Right. You go heading off to the guy that you hand the mission into. You know how to get to him, yeah? I'll follow you this some of the way. And then I'll run off and go... Well, I'll just go straight to the dryad. I know where he is. Over there. Right, go and run over land, over the little land bridge, and go to the bloke. Be fine. Just slow at this level. Eh, you won't be that slow. I mean, you won't be as fast as a 220, I grant you, but... What's my speed? Yeah, once you once you hit 2k, it's like... After that point, I'm quite comfortable with it. <laughs> Isn't that his thing there? I can see in the distance. I think it could be. Now, if I'd have had a... <laughs> a thing... A uh, surfboard, I'd have used it to get here. Right, you've definitely, you've already got the mission in your mission window, 100%, yeah? <coughs> Excuse me. Dang right, you've got the mission. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. As long as we're in the same play field, and we are... All should be good. So even at 2.20, he will kick the keeper off here. But he can't hit it, I don't think. And even if they do, it won't be much. Well, this, this keeper's got all the toys. I think the tentacles have hit me, but just not by very much. Hey, Loran. Hey, Carl. Going to go pick up lunch, and I'll be back for your stream. Nice. Well, I'll be on for a few hours tonight. No worries. That's due to. He's in... Featured in the next Let's Build episode. A little clip of him helping me out finishing Adonis. <laughs> right, that'll have updated you with that. And... I'm going to walk away. Yeah, the heal delta on this character is massive. Nano drain as well, so yeah, even for healers and stuff. Nightmare guy to fight. All right, okay. He sends you down to the next Yutto, I think, doesn't he? So you're going to want to do the medicine, and you're going to want to tag the heckler, so I'm going to log a crap. Eventually. There we go, we're breaking out fatty balls. Now I'm lucky I've got the insurance beacon thing, so yeah. You see, I did the same thing yesterday for my own. <laughs> 
you'll have to make the or get the device first but I don't want to spoil anybody's uh, fun down here You have to run across here and come and talk to the Yotto. You'll have a marker for him, but yeah, you have to go under this pipe and around. I don't think you can get... Or can you get in this way? Probably get in this way. Right, first he asks you to give him the mixture, doesn't he? So we're going to have to kill the Moloch. You've already got the Moloch drop. Awesome. I love that buff. Taunt 500, which ain't bad. And then, what was the other new one? Oh yeah, that. Offensive. Brock, am I looking at the right one? Wasn't there another new one I'd gotten? I can't remember now. So I mean, it added a ton of damage anyway. Is it quicker to go from the garden than run? Um, can you warp yourself back to the garden? Sabic, welcome to the stream. Yeah, walk back to the garden. Um, I'll run along with you just in case anything aggroes. I'm just helping out TS1966 with the Adonis quest. I've already completed it on my tune. <laughs> yes, it's Fatty Boars. That avatar you're seeing right there is this guy's lovely features. So I'm going to give him a quick... He's right near the end of the quest. And I said, your Engi definitely... Um, your tune definitely needs the uh, the brain. I'm going to show you how easy it is to finish off once you get to this point. It's only a couple of steps left, really. Apart from the rubber banding. <laughs> Fatty's picking his nose. You're going to City South? Well, I suppose you could. I'd just go from the outmost yard because it's right there. Go to go to outmost yard, it's nearer. Gamble one 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 one. <laughs> So you've got to go talk to the Yotto. He will send you to the uh, the guy, but you've already fought, fought, uh, you've already found the torch component, yeah, from the the Moloch or whatever it is. Sav two 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 two. Yeah.
Sky Cannon UK, welcome to the stream. How you doing, Heather? My favourite trucks is giving us a fatty. Gives away fatty, okay. There he is. I am, he is your performing seal. Someone aggroed the lost dog. <laughs> They look like they got it under control. Yeah, I'd run this side of the do do hickey. He looks good on your fifty-five inch t inch TV. <laughs> we've we've only got a forty-two in our living room. Anything bigger would just dominate the living room. It would stop feeling like a living room. Feel like we were in a cinema, which actually on the down low I'd like but Mrs Carlos too wouldn't <laughs> I'd be totally cool with it <laughs> watch movies with the lights off and popcorn right has he sent you to the guy has he You're just at the Yotto. Okay, I'll make sure you know, he'll give you a marker to come and talk to this guy who gives you the herbs. Uh, let's make sure there's nothing aggroable. Yeah, he's here. No, I did. I finished a Don O'Brien yesterday. It'll be in the next um, Let's Build episode, which I may release at the end of this stream. This is um, me helping out people in chat. <laughs> you can type to me in game as well, TS. Oof. Don't run down the, the low end there. That's that's not a good way to go. Top end's better. Because <laughs> there's always... The reason that, that thing's up here is... It's alright, I calmed everything. So go and you, go talk to him. He'll give you the herbs, then you can just immediately make the potion. Yeah, we're doing this and then maybe hit and get a raid started of some kind. See if Mihalik surface, surfaces. Is, is, is. Yes, he uh, he messaged, messaged me yesterday in game and said, Come to Peel now. It's like, what? <laughs> uh, Dr. Pistol dropped. Right, you made the medicine, yeah? So he, he'll give you the scanner, and I'll calm everything for you to scan. Well, in fact, when you give him your medicine, you'll get your uh, Title IV Yuttos NCU. Which one, left or right? Oh, um, I'm not sure now you say that. I think left hand to Grace, I think it was. Because I'm quite liking Pistol on... Um, on them, to be honest. I just want to get Mr. Ash's specs, because they look like that, you see. I want to get those on Fatty, so every day I log Fatty in and go kill Ash. <laughs> he still hasn't dropped them.
Netmal, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Yeah, when you hand him the, the medicine, he gives you a nice um, Title Four 800 comp lit requirement. Uh, Yoto NCU for free. Hack of element, yeah. Okay, we're going over to the hex. So let me just calm everything. You'd probably be okay doing this yourself on a crack because the first Shadowlands calm will calm um, Inferno hecklers even. But... People have told me I should get MVs. It's always a good option, or a good weapon. Yeah, even the basic Shadowlands Calm will work. But if you draw aggro off other ones, they'll squish you too quickly, whereas Fatty's got quite a bit of HP and defense, right? There's your elements here. That's a harmony. Another elements. What's this dude over here? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's like when you get this these other ones jumping in like he just did. Okay, there's your dreams. So have you just got the dormant golem now? Boo! <laughs> Boo back. Yeah, golem. Yeah, wait. That one doesn't aggro, so... grow the dog how do you get green pet names uh, it's a hex code when you name them but I can't remember it now somebody told me how to do it in chat and just copied and pasted it I think they told me on discord actually or maybe it was before the discord can't remember rubber band yeah I've been having a lot of those lately Right, I'm just clearing a path for you. And put me in the wash with my mohawk. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened. That's the story we're sticking with. You should be able to make that jump at a hundred. On blind faith, you'll do it. Just aim at the golem. Yeah, see. Right. Is that a wild fatty I see? Indeed it is, fatty boars.
watch your trader vids again today while I was leveling fixer. Safe to say I'm playing a trader now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn these influencers. Yes, making people do things against their will. I've never once said to anyone, play this class, have I? I've just played it and yeah. I'm actually quite enjoying the doctor now. Now he's got big bigger heels and debuffs and, and dots and stuff. It's pretty good pretty cool. I'm sure by two hundred he's really gonna be crying <laughs> with unless he's in a team. I didn't bother with shotguns at early levels after seeing the pain you went through. Straight into the labs. Ah, well, you've got... Once you get the nanite drains and regular drains working together, then it's... Uh, shotguns come into their own because your AR is through the roof once you're higher level. Yeah, OK, well, walk to the garden. And this is the... When we talk to him, he's the second to last guy. I'll use the crack because... I'm already logged in on him. And the nearest is, in fact... Outmost yard and get swimming. <laughs> on fatty, make like Jesus and walk on the water. Oh, yeah. Not doing it. Doesn't always do it. When you open and close a bag when you're swimming, sometimes it'll... Uh, it'll bounce you on top of the water as it goes through the an animation. a soldier and then I might make a Troxor engineer. <laughs> all, all the tunes. Yes. This is what we want. We want all of them. You have to play them all. See? Most, most of the stuff along here, even when it aggroes, you just run past it. Soto Mahoney, hello from Omni 3. Yes, the, shh, 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 the Omni Spy has arrived. <laughs> Yeah, so we go as far as we can on land and then whiz across here. Now, the guy you actually want, 
when you catch up. The guy you actually want is up at the top of that hill, but to get to that hill, we've got to get across the water over here. So literally almost directly west. I can see you on the mini-map, don't worry. I won't leave you miles behind. Yeah, if you go straight across, you can't get up onto the uh, the mountain. It's so annoying. But you have to go this way first. Because that makes perfect sense. I'm back with the most authentic Mexican food in all of the USA. Taco Bell. Oh, yeah. Totally uh, authentic. <laughs> well, after the franchise wars, Taco Bell was the only franchise left. <laughs> so every restaurant is Taco Bell. You all remember that nightmare. Demolition Man, yes. Corny ass cheese ball movie, and I love it. <laughs> All right. Where, where have you gone, TS? Right. See the first solid, like, rib coming off here? Just jump straight towards it. So you, there's like an invisible platform you can walk on. doesn't work on the broken one, you need to jump on the first solid rib kind of thing. But how do you use the three seashells? I know, someone actually figured it out. I think they posted it on um, YouTube. But they obviously <laughs> had some props. Um, they didn't use somebody's bottom though, or poop. Don't worry. Oh, my pets have um, thinged. Get behind. <sighs> Been a while since I've done pets. Forgot to set them back on follow. Right, you get the mission from him. Actually, yeah, pets. Let's kill these so they're nowhere near. I'll go over and start killing. You call out what you need. You do it in stream or you can do it on um, team chat in-game. Probably better. Be less lag. Alaran, how about, please, I need this food to feed my kids. You are an unfit mother. Carl's junior agents are on the way to take your children. <laughs> it's edible. It's not every day. Oh, Mrs. Uh, Kalos 2's new favourite TV is an American show called Hoarders. Oh my god. I've watched a few of them. It's something else, that. I know it starts with numb ear mites, doesn't it? You know, th these people can't even move in their own house. They're mentally ill. I mean, they, they do mention that quite a few times in the um, in the program. The poor buggers are not well. Um, but yeah, they, some of the houses, they the stuff they've got in the house is just oh, the freezers with rancid food in it because the freezer doesn't work anymore. And they're going, no, no, that one's all right. And you're like, no, the fluff you can't eat that um, and they go in and try and help them out with psychiatrists and 
therapists and what have you. It is quite... It, it, it's sort of like weird TV, but yeah, I can see why she likes it. One more. Soto Mahoney, I feel attacked. No, you don't. You're not a hoarder. Not like these people. Honestly, the, like, the upstairs is just nothing but stuff stacked up or in bags and, and like some of them have got like a room that's entirely full of cat shit i i kid you not there's nothing there's no room for anything in the in the room but cat mess uh, and the occasional dead cat that's been mummified in there it's just it's like next level you just won't believe some of the stuff you see it is it, it's like shock value tv or something but yeah I can see why she's watching it all. Come on, no mermites. You're down here somewhere. Oh, I had you. I have you now. It's not a show to watch with dinner. Uh, no. Some of it's pretty gross. Right, what's, your, what's our next one? Brisk Dryad. Okay, back with coffee and crispy cream donuts. Ooh, nice. If you like coffee and donuts. Tab, tab, tab. Come on. You're around here somewhere. I know you are. I did offer to make you a cup of tea, Carl. <laughs> Maladors. I'm sure we saw some of them while we were tabbing for the other dudes. Oh, another no move, mate. You're a Malador. Slightly easier doing this with pets because they run right after them. Shackles of obedience. Don't you have tea coming out the faucet in the UK yet? <laughs> nah, because it depends what cup of tea you want, you see. You need some, you've got to be able to have some variation. You know, do I want a strong one? Do I want a milky one? Etc, etc, so yeah. Am I going to put two bags in for the first one of the day? You know, that kind of thing. Double double strength. But no, we don't have tea coming out of the faucet yet. Jack666, I swear I feel like the only person in the UK that can't stand tea. It's fine, not everyone likes it. You probably just need to be given a proper cup of it. A lot of I, I find a lot of that stems from there. Okay, you're going to hand in and then go down to the Whirlpool boss. Your nearest exit is going to be outmost yard for that. 
mainline T says Gamble one 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 one. Yeah, um, I don't know about mainline in T, but you know, it's a thing. It's definitely very popular. If you're in the north, you will get a decent cup of tea. Down south, it's like 50-50, you'll get a decent cup of tea. Unless you're in London and you go to a proper East End calf, uh, then you will. Really doesn't land well in uh, Shadowlands, does it? This one, the Mez. I love that AOE Mez, especially in like um, oh, Smuggler's Den, places like that where people are just the, the aggro gets so chaotic with everybody in there trying to do their own thing. Uh, you want City South this time. On the Isle of Sky, idyllic. Neil Gaiman keeps going and living there, doesn't he? The guy who wrote, um, you know, Good Omens with Terry Pratchett, Sandman, American Gods. He's got a place on there. Somewhere. I don't know how many people live on the Isle of Sky these days. Can't be that many. It's still, it's still low density population on there, isn't it? A couple of thousand, maybe. All around, there's at least one. Yes, okay. Well, Rogan, I got it wrong. What, what have you got wrong? Did you go out the wrong exit? outmost yard well you know where you are going to you've got a map marker haven't you so it is just a lot quicker this way and no swimming Iraq, welcome to the stream. Well, you shouldn't get any spirit. Well, you get a couple of spirits going along the bridges, but this is definitely the fastest way there. I kind of grr, I just kicked myself off stream. <laughs> oh well, not to worry. Be back now. There's the rather funky whirlpool of doom. Uh, I'm just helping out TS 1969 with a good old. Adonis Brain Quest. Don't try swimming directly here in a straight line, you'll disappear down the plug hole. Yeah, I've already done it on the doctor, I did get it done in the end. So I've just been uh, just been helping out. This guy, TS 1966 in the chat, has been helping him out with it. But if anyone ever needs help like that, just let me know. 
on stream and uh, we'll, we'll come and get it done because with with two twenties in tow it's dead easy everything's grey or green so you know he's no big challenge Which way are you coming now? To yes. <laughs> from the east, yeah, you're going to get wet coming from the east. Yeah, you, you will. This is why I say come city south, it's just straightforward. Up the steps follow the bridges this guy kind of might need them the mighty fatty help on the brain quest yeah there's only a few stages that are actually difficult um, well depends how squishy a tune happens to be but you know for the most part anyway If you're reasonably solid, then, you know, you'll be all right. You know, the end boss, no, you're not going to solo that at 1.30ish. You know, you're going to need a bit of help. Corporate strategy makes crap pets. Look at that. Add all damage 500, add all off 600. <laughs> it's nuts. Why you no use this, you know? I mean, Carlo hits hard, but with that, you, you hit like a truck. Four hour buffs for pets is OE. No, oh, that's, that's good. Swimming is that safe? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. If you're using the recall beacon, I'd go back to the garden and come the other way. Yeah, just warp. I'll, I'll meet you at the outmost yard. Uh, city south, rather. Carlos's briefcase hurts. It certainly does. Depends on your jumping skill, you see. At 220 you can you can jump clear over stuff that you can't jump over at 140 and 130-ish. And rubber band. Wonder your pets get confused. The Ruin still has noodles for arms. It should give Kratz that buff, um, MPs that buff as well. Funcom thought about MPs once with the initial rebalance, then remembered they haters and nerfed the ruin again. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <coughs> Excuse me. I still play due to as born date December. Yeah, same as Kalos too. 
that you love your tune, that's what that says. Right. Let's get going. Let's get the end fight done. In fact, you, you, you can come up, but you need to come right up to the guy's feet, otherwise you'll die in the fire. Mind you, you've got plenty of other tunes, though, due to, I know that. You have an emph. Don't you have quite a few? Don't worry, if they come down, I'll just wipe them. Or calm them, or both. If they follow us down. Someone else. That's Jack. And Jack's shown up on the shade. Right, if you want to come up so you can see the one place you can't get to in Adonis unless you do this quest. You can, but you really need to get right up under the uh, the boss's feet. Like, right under his feet, because all this bridge catches fire. Up to you. You don't need to, to get the... Because uh, we're still in... See, look, there's dark ruins down there. But here's a site you only ever see when you do this quest, because you can't get up here as far as I know, anyway. doesn't want to risk it <laughs> because otherwise I think you've got to delete and redo half the quest again you can see it on the stream but yeah you, it's possible you could die in the fire the boss won't hit you he's, he's seriously debuffed at the moment Talk to the Otto and get your brain. Because trust me, the Syndicate brain at 150-ish is uh, 
really really nice there you go that's the syndicate brain of the leader if anyone's wondering 100 to all nano and treatment uh, 50 to intelligence pistol 50 sense 50 psychic 50 multi-ranged 50 burst for 25 fling 25 and max nano 500 it's pretty bloody nice implant you know especially for um for yourself right i'm gonna take fatty back to rubicar Gamble 0007. Welcome to the stream on the other computer. Oh yeah, it's dead easy on a 220. I've said that I don't know how many times. It's it was never it was never really designed for 220s in mind. But a lot of 220s went and did the quest anyway. Number one, XP for research, and number two, it's like that head implant has exactly what I need. Um in a lot of cases. You're having, you're having dinner. You're on the laptop now. Well, there we go. All right, I'm going to drop team. I'm going to log L Keeper, I think. Yes. Go to my little spot here. And log back. I'm not sure where I left the Keeper, though. Need to do on your Keeper. Yeah, get as much of it done as you can solo. You'll get most, a lot, sorry, on your Engi. Um, you'll get a lot done on the Engi, actually. You get mm, probably as far as... You'll, you'll kill the... F yeah, Ruins is going to be the first stumbling block, probably. Just needs a treatment buff from this the terminal. Don't forget you will lose treatment in your head implant if it's a symbiont when you use the terminal. So you might need a couple of buffs. I can't remember what you had in. <laughs> I think it was an implant, wasn't it? All right, well, eh... Let me get this tune. Oh, it works out. I'll log the little dock and give you F S F A. Run the keeper back to the correct spot. I'd say the keeper's actually slightly faster runner than uh, Fatty. Could be the animation, I don't know. The pets are still alive, I tell you. Alive! Alright, are you going to need a buff? TS1966, are you going to need SFA? Will you be okay? You think you're okay? All right. Right then, Sam, what do we fancy doing? Anything? Nothing? Something? I'm coming looking for your character. Hand or Subway, Humanities for the win. Oh, the Humanities. 
wouldn't mind panned actually because um, I still need the pants. Feel the need for some trousers. Of course, that means I'll have to do a load of uh, POH. You promised me a beast raid on Calbrock. I did one. Last time we did beast, I did it on Calbrock. Uh, <laughs> Because I was draining the beast. I can go on. I can go on him again. It's not like I couldn't blitz to the beast on a bloody 220 keeper with alphas on. My God, you missed it. Oh, tears, tears. Do you want me to log Calbrock? No, fatty. I, mean, I can't. I can't log both guys. And you know, it's one account I have. I'm looking around for Lissavik. Can't see them. Alvod Surf. What? If you have done it, go on fatty. Okay. It is there. He just goes through the whole thing, draining the snot out of everything with me going, um, 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 I haven't played this guy for a while, kind of thing, so. I think it's chat goes to iPand. It's that episode where I, I, I went with um, with him. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, there we go. It's that episode. Bugger off advert. There you go, that's the one. Right, Mihalik has come back to me and he said at six, he said he'd got another hour of work to go, but I'm free tomorrow from six. So, okay. There we are. I'm, I'm still looking around for Sav. Someone, Iraq is trying to hide, but it's just... It's sad, man, don't. <laughs> it's not working, sir. It's not, not a good hider, you're not. I'm looking for Sav. Where's Sav gone? Where is Savik hiding? We want the Savik. My dock isn't big enough. Will be, and I'll I'll pay Savic back, and and, oh, and do all the uh, doctoring in um, iPand in future or something. Once he's built up properly. As for Humanities, now I'm going to want alphas and final build kind of deal for that. I think. It's just nice. Easy, easy stream time for me on Keeper when we do anything. Because I don't need to be casting tons of stuff. Subway is the hardest raid. Um, not. It's it's the most grueling because the mobs have ridiculous amounts of HP. But I wouldn't. Humanities is hard, but you've got to have the right team and the right buffs to to make it work. So yeah, maybe it's arguably one of the toughest. It, he's Eumenides is the toughest fight in the subway, certainly. It's my favourite raid. I love them all, really. Where's Himani? <laughs> he decided Sabic is Himani. Uh, I'm guessing Sabic might be eating. And or Savik may have gone off to make a drink or something. I don't know. Or Savik might not be able to play this evening. She might just have time to watch and not much else. I don't know. I 
I do not speak for Savik. Savik speaks for herself. Less than 13. Omnitech is your friend. Yes, it's the Omni Spy. Josh, quick, just stop. Everyone, stop talking. It's the Omni Spy. <laughs> They're so to Mahoney. How many NCUs have I got? All of them. Yeah, I don't know. Where's Savit gone to? She's still in chat. She's dropped out of chat as well. Yeah, don't know. She didn't say goodbye, did she? Don't know. And go make a drink while we, we try and figure out where Savik has gone off to. Now you want to come and kill big things, Soto? Or you are all on froob? You all froobed up? Can't come to pound, kind of thing. Hundred percent froob. I'm getting warm in this room as well, so hang on. A little bit of fresh air in here. Right, okay, why don't we try and figure out where Savik is hiding? <laughs> I think it's time for our intermission. I can go kill Surprise Master Smug. Heard he was saying naughty things about you. <laughs> I generally kill Eel for the goat helmet. I might go and do that. I've never tried to kill him on the Keeper. I might do that as well. I don't know. Let's see if I can get the little brown book. Kraut guy. Oh, he is live. Yes. He is live. You can, uh, I, I usually go on the shade just for speed, but well, the shade just goes toe to toe and runs in. I mean, it's quite funny on the shade. You can get a couple, if I get our FE and a heart, she's laughing. She's going and just completely nailing it. Right, we're back in a sec. I'm just making a fresh drink and we're wondering where Samick is.
that I was alive. Dear me. There we go. I should do the others. It auto does it to, twi uh, to Twitter, but doesn't do it automatically anywhere else. I suppose you probably can get it to do that, but I didn't. There we go, I have book faced. Message request. I am a lonely woman. Visit me here. Oh. Where's the report button? Spam Mute No, hang on, not mute Block Back Done. Right, bugger off. Yes, I get these random... I'm, I'm sure everybody gets these random... Hello, I'm lonely. Go away. Two shops and a t-shirt vendor. Where's Savik gone? We have lost the Savik. We still haven't found Savik. I came here looking for Savik. That's why I want to report... No, because I don't want that trash on Facebook. Um... Click this link for... Go naff off. <laughs> You're here. Where are you in game? We're going to go do Ipand. Are you at Ipand? Are you, you're at Ipand, aren't you? Where are you? Let us search. 
Are you on the looking for teams? Are you just watching today? All oh, right, okay. That's fine, Sav. I was I was hanging back waiting for you. <laughs> It seems Savix having two nice fingers of scotch on the rocks in a library with mahogany panel walls and many leather bound books. The great places to record, you know, mahogany panelled rooms. I've done, record, done recording in places and buildings like that. They really sound great, especially for like acoustic instruments. Sounds, they really sound good. You could do with some scotch now you mention it. Little early for me. Well, it's not. I mean, you know. Pubs are open. If they were open, they'd be open by now, but yeah. If I drink, I usually drink later in the day. When I when I kind of feel like the day is completely done. Unless it's another, you know, wedding or a party or, you know, one of those sorts of things. When I was younger, though, oh my god, yeah. I used to do all the things. Right, so who wants who is up and ready to go for iPand? Who would like to go? We will be requiring a tank and a dock. And the rest is well you know, whatever. Right, dotted him. I know you're... what's this? Cider is an all-day thing. Scotch is a night closer. <laughs> you're a little young for all-day drinking, sir. I mind you saying that. What was I doing when I was 20? Yeah, probably about the same. Although I always drank um, ales like bitter. Lager's too gassy to drink all day. But, yeah, a bit bitter or a Guinness. You can drink those all day. You know, whacking open every... Open air every year. Uh, all day drinking is good times. Well, when you're your age, yes. You don't suffer as badly as... Uh, and neither did I at your age, either. You, you get to 50, mate, and, yeah. A good night out. You... <laughs> You're just sort of stealing half of the next day in recovery. I see... I see a, I see an enforcer logging on. We know who this enforcer is. Yes, we do. We have a duty. You start drinking something like moonshine as soon as you wake up, you'll black out in about an hour and then it's all day drinking. <laughs> oh, they got a bit of, uh, you got a bit of hooch on uh, Sky, the Isle of Sky, do you? you well, believe it. And yeah. Nothing career require. Have you logged your emph in to come play in iPand? By any chance? Or are you doing things? Hooch is how you keep warm, right? <laughs> you need some Intelli support symbionts. Very good, right. Uh, let's get to iPand. Yeah, the ridiculously. Let's get to iPand and uh, kick some ass. We need, we need a healer. Need a healage. Anyone got a dock? It's busy here. I can tell by the way. <laughs> a lot of lag suddenly. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're ridiculously expensive now. So far, in the raid, we have two people. And if you want to get some implants. AO economy, yeah, it is. It's, it's messed up. It foobard. It's duplicating, uh, stacking stuff to sell for creds and all of that. And it never ever being fixed is uh, is another thing. It's never been corrected. See if anyone in guild fancies a bit of the old iPad. It was effed when I was playing in 2015. Now it's on a whole other scale. Yeah, people were duping quality 300 um, pearls, cut pearls and stuff, and just flogging them to vendors all day long. Nuts. And that created tons and tons of, of uh, artificial credits. Um, and then price creep, and then people boxing and selling so much stuff um, uh, the introduction of the grace really as well did contribute at first people would say oh this will be good it'll mop up credits but it's sort of become currency in itself so not really Plus cred selling online. At this point, it's totally pointless buying um, creds from the cred sellers. Don't do it. You know, if you get caught, you could get your account uh, banned. Number two, they're expensive. It's cheaper to buy a Grace from Funcom and sell it on GMI is twice as many credits as they're offering for the same money. I only want free range, <laughs> gross home home free, all natural vegan credits. <laughs> At 20 billion. So you're paying less than a dollar a billion to get it from, yeah. So you, for less than a dollar a billion, you're getting a grace for, you're getting less, than, well, you're paying less than one dollar for one billion, whereas the cred sellers are, are charging four dollars for two billion. It's utterly pointless buying money off them. You, as soon as you do, you're, you're on a loser. You're at a disadvantage. You've spent more money on uh, credits than, you know, is in any way valid. Right, anybody else want to come? Crap, Engie. Doc would be good. <laughs> I bought two earlier and haven't sold them yet. I want the extra 2.1. Well, you'll get it. I'm sure you'll get it. Who do we know? Website won't let you buy a Grace. Should do. So let me do it before and sell one. Well, I'm in the UK. It should be the same for you, really. I can't. Scotland's not... Or the Isle of Sky. I can't imagine that would be any reason. that You're nearer to Norway than I am. <laughs> Even though technically you're buying from America or whatever. It's weird. You have to be subscribed and you have to have been subscribed for a certain amount of time. Is that right? Weird. Unable to find upgrade offer for this account. Um, I don't know which one you're using. Wait there. Yeah. Let me just see what bookmark I've got.
Right, you go to account, you log in. Uh, should be able to just click that and buy one. I don't know. Um, yeah, so there you go. It's the same place and it just says no to you. That is so weird. Maybe I'll write a wee smut. Yeah, I would. Um, right, well, I can't see us doing all of iPad with three people and no healer. I mean, we can do it with a healer. That that much is true. So what we need is somebody with a doctor. Anybody in chat got a doc? Yeah, I've never had a problem um, with getting a grace, mind you, yeah. yeah. Maybe it is a time thing, I don't know. It's a weird thing, that much I know. You get that message if you try and do it on a froob. Yeah, it could be some weirdness like the age of the account, maybe. Don't know. Let's start clearing and wait for somebody to join us. Killing the Gerbers, <laughs> killing the Yotto dog. He gave some dumb reason like preventing fraud when you asked about it on Discord last year, but wouldn't say what the actual cutoff was. That's weird. But yeah, Funcom, generally speaking, are kind of weird. Just remember, we don't have a dock. <laughs> You're pulling the entire playfield on yourself. Sounds like Foonball Com, yeah, a little bit. And we will get so far, I don't think we can do Nightheart without a dock though. Can't do Beast without them, not much of it.
slow going otherwise. <laughs> Yay, Doja. <laughs> they are good because they they are unique. So you can hand in a Inferno Doja and one of those. I think there's another you can hand in the old one as well. You can hand all three of them in. And they all count on freelancers as well, which is kind of nuts. Oh. We plod through slowly, we'll be all right. Doing it the old way. Taking the old route, even. Do you want to come on your shade, Jack? Can you have a 220 shade? Bring them to pan, it'll just go quicker. The blockers really help, gotta say. Near two twenty shade. I thought you came on a who came on a two twenty shade <laughs> when we did um Oh thingy. The last boss of Adonis. Who came on that? Most on this account is only that thing. Oh, right. Somebody else's shade came anyway. That was you. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Iraq. My mistake. I get confused about who who's been on what character. We're right, we're doing the go slow hand run. Mihalik, welcome to the stream. We're three manning panned at the moment. <laughs> if you've got a healer, we can get to the beast. <laughs> That's a start. I think we can do Nightheart pretty much without uh, a dock, but I think we definitely want a dock to get to, to do beast. And so it's having a night off. I'll be I'll start playing Doc once he's big enough to do this sort of stuff. I'll I'll start bringing him. Just finished an eleven-hour day. Oh, don't worry about it then, dude. It's okay. Can't come and play every time. I've done plenty of eleven, twelve, sixteen, eighteen-hour days in the past. It's just the way it is sometimes. All my tunes have an ingression enhancer. They're like peanuts. 
18 hours done once, never again. Yeah, because I'd, I'd finish my day job, load up my car full of guitars, amps, and all the rest of it. Dr oh, you sod. Drive off to a gig. We've got two pinks on the go. Uh, drive off to a gig. Uh, you know, so I'd be leaving the house for work at like half seven, finishing work about six. Then bite to eat, straight in the car, and uh, yeah, off to the gig, packing up from the gig, coming all the way home uh, about, oh, I don't know, two, three o'clock in the morning, get up the next day, do it all again on the Saturday. So I do Friday and Saturday like that. How are we going to handle this guy? We just keep a ambient healing and block this. In the 1980s, I often slept on the floor, nurse made in huge computers. Oh, the old mainframes. How the hell you could sleep in a room that noisy? Some psychos at my job do 24 hours straight before they do the tour. I bet they do. Oh! You feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. Eliade, I think, has reached enlightenment. Okay. Well, congrats. Sagittarius. Sealed room. Alon controlled. And, oh boy. Now this is where you start wishing you had a key. Uh, a dock. <laughs> We will try, nonetheless. Just pray and do DD. Yep, I guess that's the way. Seem to be managing fairly well. We have got Watch Ward running, so I can recast. Not a single doc friend online. Yeah, I know. It just seems to be, it's not really a night. We did, like, help someone out for a finished their Adonis quest. And then it's been, like, nothing since. We survived the ad rush. We're doing okay. Yeah, I think there is a maximum number of hours you can work in the UK, currently, anyway. Post Brexit, they'll probably try and get rid of that so companies can exploit people further. Well, they will, as so long as the Tories are still in power, they will anyway. It just seems to be what they've always been like that. <laughs> Yeah, of course they've got them in mind. Something my grandfather used to say to me, bearing in mind um, half my family are descended from Roman Egyptians, was if the only punishment for a crime is a fine, it's a, it's a law for poor people. Rich people don't care about fines. is less than what they made while breaking the law it's a cost of doing business exactly yeah a lot of companies look at it that way okay we can do this it's illegal it's like the very start of um oh, i can't think of the name of the film there split personality with um, brad pitt in it fight club that's it 
and he's uh, like an insurance guy. Uh, one of the high up ones. Um, and he says they look at it and they literally go, well, if the cost of a recall is more than the cost of paying out um, out of court settlements for a defective car, that's what they'll do. Vulpu, welcome to the stream. Do you feel like joining a panned raid? We've got a team of three at the moment. Savik and Mihalik are having a night off, so... <laughs> so we've got me and Jutu from Storm on his uh, Enforcer, and Iroch on his Soldier so far. So we're going awfully slowly. Which major... yeah, a major one. Yeah, it's probably Ford. But I tell you now, all companies operate like that, not just car companies. It's like the whole emissions thing with Volkswagens. They they figured out before they let it go. Um, they figured out it was cheaper to um, for them. Okay. Like we're doing super slow here, you know this. We've got the Unknown Path. We've got Sagittarian Spirit Helper. Which actually I would quite like for the dock. But I can't get the dock here, so... And the Star Shooter. I'd love to, but too many going on. Farming and XP. Well, that's it, yeah. work in a bank. The systems we have are, one, older than me, older than I am, and two, probably hack them from where I'm sitting now, but it would cost me more to upgrade than pay, <laughs> than pay the fines. Yeah, well, this is the thing. It absolutely is. But yeah. Yeah, my grandmother's fa uh, family moved to the UK in 190. Uh, just before the um, First World War, I think. But they have money and property been left to them by people, so... They just came over and settled, plain and simple. And then the other half are Welsh. Other grandmother is one of thirteen from Mid Wales. Yeah, they had big families in those days. Mostly all gone now. <laughs> all my older relatives used to go and visit all my uh, great. What are they? If it's your grandmother's sister, yeah, used to go and visit them all. And the extended family we really don't stay in touch anymore. It's kind of a shame. It's kind of a shame, but... Uh, I don't see a drop is my team bugged. I think your team is bugged, actually. Because I can see it's great aunt. Great auntie, yes. Oh, is it bugged? Okay. seems to take far longer than it needs to. My uncle was one of 22, that's it. In the old days, they had a big families. Probably half the UK is actually related to the other half. Pretty much, I would think. <laughs> Those kind of numbers, and you think, well, if each one of them had a couple of kids, and, you know...
Yeah, excuse me. More tea. That's a little better. You tell the difference when you've got fewer people, can't you? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm joking there. Mihalik says... Well, well, first of all, due to uh, 22 and they all have a few kids. And they all have a few kids. Now traffic in London is abysmal. Yeah, that's kind of how it works. Uh, the US land of gen genetic diversity, except Alabama. <laughs> My four grandparents are Hungarian, Austrian, Greek, and Turkish. There you go. True Americans. Unless you're a native American, you're a, you're a descendant of an immigrant in America. It's pretty much the same. If you're not Welsh, you're... You're... you're, um, you're the descendant of an invader in Britain or an immigrant in one of the two well, Britain has been invaded by like everybody so to my wife and I are majority Irish yeah I'll come join you on some nub trader yeah no problem Vulpu more the merrier then we'll have at least one solid team won't we Mm. Do you know what the oldest, con you know, the like a country's flag? Do you know what the oldest one in the world actually is? It's the Dutch flag. Or is it De is it Denmark? I think it's the Den. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Danish or Denmark. I can't remember. It's one of those two. Anyway, everyone else has actually changed their flags at one time or another. Denmark, I think. Yeah. I think it is Denmark, yeah. I mean, the, the Welsh flag with the dragon on it is... It's like 70-odd years old. Okay, there's Vulpu on Forest Thump. <laughs> Was in chat. Forest thump. I love it. Someone's got the big cannon shooter. I can hear it. Kaboom, kaboom. Nothing existed before 1776. Well, some people seem to believe that, but. Okay, going to the feet. Dutch flag is from when we regained independence from France after the wars with Napoleon. Oh, well, there you go, then. Yeah, there's, there's like, a lot of countries' flags are really quite new. 1776. <laughs> I lived in a town called Rithlan, where the very first UK Parliament was held 100 years before that. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Long before that. When was the castle built? Was it 15th century? Still standing, and half the cottages around it are made from robbed out stone. The facing stone at the bottom of the castle. What did we know about building stone structures then that we seem to have forgotten now that that thing is still standing there? Every country teaches its own version of history to its children. Something else you need to remember. Same for the UK. Same for everyone. Roman concrete is better than modern concrete. Very true. 
Hadrian's Wall was built around 100 AD, is still standing today. Yeah, it's built along a natural fault line where there's like a sheer cliff face on one side of it, which definitely helped. Like, people see it and go, well, it's only a six-foot wall. Anyone could have got over that. Yeah, but there was a wooden structure all the way along the top. And the other side is a sheer cliff face. So, yeah, it was pretty imposing and effective in its time through most of its length. Roman concrete gets stronger over time. Yeah, that's true. It does. If you watch um, the time team and stuff, they pull up the um, mosaics and, and stuff like that. It's incredible. Nothing we build today could la is going to last as long as the stuff they put there. You know, they had underfloor heating and everything else, which we've only just realised is the best way to heat a room. <laughs> they, they had it right all the way back then. And the reason they did it that way is that their scholars figured out that the reason you had a hot day was the sun was heating the ground and the air above it was rising from it, heated. Um, so they thought, right, well, that's the way you do it. You send the heat in underneath the floor and the room becomes warm and feels quite natural in the way that the outside world does on a sunny, warm day. Yeah, there's a wall in front of Theopatra Cave in Greece that's 23,000 years old. Oh, yeah. Well, the sort of Mediterranean area was a cradle of civilization, they reckon. Especially, like, well, in Greece it was all the... Um, that's where you got the philosophers, the, the idea of democracy, science. It, all of it kind of stems from there. where we settled and farmed and actually had time to think and do other jobs other than survive. You know. Climate also plays a part. No way could we hold up if the ice was more common. Well, you say that, but it's not quite right. Um, let's have a look. There's a few bits and pieces. I've not seen any in tallies, though. Artillery foot. Um, extermination left arm, I think. That's about it. That's about all she wrote. I don't need any of them. Before the end of the last ice age, um, Google Doggerland. Google Doggerland. Because before the temperatures warmed up, Britain, Norway, um, Denmark, all of Scandinavia, it was all one huge uh, landmass. The Mediterranean didn't exist. Um, it was dry land. And then as the a great sheaf of ice gave way, and a huge, I mean absolutely huge lake behind it, melted into the, uh, into the seas and uh, flooded it broke through at Gibraltar and flooded the entire basin. And that's where they reckon the tale of Atlantis actually stems from, is something like that. Ice is super common where I live, and our roads last about four months. Roman roads are still there now, aren't they, a lot of them? But I don't know how they would hold up with heavy trucks driving on them and stuff. Enjoying cabbage in it, just so I know what's happening. There we go. And we don't drive hot hatches in the US, it's heavy duty trucks or nothing. But you know me, I drive a Jag. <laughs> Although these days I drive a different Jag. Still got the, the V6, but it's just way too expensive to keep on the road. Uh, so the Jag I bought for my father-in-law for his uh, retirement, he can't manage it anymore, it's too much for him. Um, so he said, well, you take it and I'll get like a little old man's car. And I was like, okay. 
<laughs> so he just so he's like, well, there's your car back. <laughs> there's no replacement for displacement V8 at minimum. Yeah. Do we have some assist? Nah. <laughs> just you know what you're doing. Like, let's kill this one. It's on the stairs that just got pulled. More bike man. Be careful on bikes and never ride one without gloves and a helmet. Are we all up there? Okay. We're doing the do. My pet peeve is I see anyone on a bike and they don't even have gloves on. Alaman TT is all right. A bit of a Guy Martin fan then. I like Guy Martin. He's a nut job, but I really like him. He's a good bloke as well. Yeah, I've subscribed to his uh, YouTube channel. Loads of brilliant stuff on that. He's such a natural engineer as well. Like he went to Japan and they let him work on a samurai sword from one of the master builders. And the master builder was watching him and, and, and he, he was like, oh, I would I would give you a job. You know, he, he was being genuine as well. I'm, I'm waiting to, um, I've got that queued up to watch the city when he rebuilt the canal boat. He came to where I live and helped rebuild the promenade as well. But he's like a proper British eccentric, is going on. He is, he's, he is nuts. He's like a, you know, he, he just has that craziness about him. I love it. I think it's great. But yeah. So British, he started a Spitfire engine in his front room one day. That <laughs> you can just imagine him doing it and then saying to his missus after, "Yeah, but you know, you gotta, you gotta do it, haven't you? You gotta do it. It's there, man. You can't not do it." He is that guy, you know. Yeah, he's he's a legend. If you guys don't know him. Um, yeah, Google Guy Martin, G A Y, and then Martin. It'll find him. You go watch some, watch his TT laps. Holy crap! Yeah, you can post the link, Jack. No problem. Post a Zelda too. What? <laughs> yeah, how many pieces of metal are in his spy in his spy? He broke his back in about nine places. All that. Yeah, he is he's he's real crackers. Yeah, there's like fourteen pins and such in his on his back. I mean when he's old he's gonna suffer. Might be all right now while he's still fairly young, but as he gets older, all of that's going to come back. And I think he shouldn't really be racing bikes again with that kind of injury. Duke video. I'll check it out later. Yeah, he's got his own um, official channel, hasn't he? Guy Martin. or one that's managed for him or something. I think it says Guy Martin official proper lad or proper chap or something like that, yeah. It's his, that's his kind of thing, yeah? But yeah, if you, if you, if you like um, guys who are just plain crazy, that's one for you.
Yeah, he is exactly the same. Andy Kershaw doing his... Um, holding up his, his lap time and number for him. <laughs> it's just brilliant. not met him in real life but yeah I would imagine he is exactly as it seems I doubt he's any different I'm pulling out a few or are we going in We wiped the last time we went in, that's true. There's a really, really good video about the one of the emergency doctors. And the emergency doctors that sit lapside at all the major bike races, and you might like Carl, if that's a thing. Another great chat with a good bit of humor. Yeah, you'd need one in that job. I have Shadow Breed, we're okay, yeah. Oh god. We didn't last minutes in then. And we got three pinks all trying to heal. Oh lordy lordy. Oh no. And the Emph goes down. Oh god, how? Shadow breed for the win. <laughs> Where's my effing mouse cursor? There it is. I want the pink. Can't get it. Oh, come on, game. Let me get the pink. Oh my god. Oh well. <laughs> Emergency doctor that's as good a rider as most of the pros, yeah. You watch yourself on them bikes. Everyone I know who's uh, there's bold riders and there are old riders. There are no bold old riders. Same with climbers. and Frankie's had to come off that bike more than a few times and all he does is suffer now. So, yeah. He regrets the... Uh, <laughs> the craziness of his youth now. When you're 20, you think you're indestructible. It's only as you get older you start realising you ain't. <laughs> yeah, that saying is true. There are old riders and there are bold riders, but there are no old, bold riders. Catch you, you know, the, the odds catch up with you in the end and it ain't worth it.
Just saying. You live your life how you see fit. But I'm just saying. <laughs> Take it from me. With the uh, various injuries I could easily have avoided if I hadn't been quite so daft when I was younger. Wasn't as mad as Guy Martin, but not far off. Gigi says, Well, I've got a few more grey hairs after that, but we made it through. <laughs> I've, I've got grey hairs to spare now. Mind you, it's still on my head. Why complain? <clears throat> Might be like a, I'm gonna go like the uh, Leslie Nielsen thing. But on my head, it's not that grey. It's my beard that's just gone completely white. I always had a tiny bit of salt and pepper with the beard, though. I always had a tiny bit of grey in it, so it was on the cards. Now I look like an old Romany uh, Welsh something or other. I don't know. Well, you've seen it, haven't you? Mind you, I've cut that beard quite a lot shorter now, so. Grand Theft Humidity, do you has it? Have you got it on this tune, Volpu? Please say you have. Make our life a lot easier. <coughs> Excuse me. No. Oh. <laughs> the, the best nano a trader can use on the beast. And we haven't got it. Trigade Special Edition Ops Helmet. Is that the one? What's the one I've got? Just curiosity. Yeah, it is that one. He's very nice. But I'm not wearing it at the moment. I've got the upgraded Merc Armour one. Grand Theft Humidity is why I joined on trade. I thought you would, Vulpu. You're a bit too savvy in this game not to, uh, not to have a trader this level and not have that on him. Let's have it inspect. He said, noob trader, let's see. Oh, look, no. Yeah, totally a noob trader. Yeah, look. <laughs> it's yeah, about as noob as I am. <laughs> Probably less noob than I am. Exterminator. And the, oh, yeah, the Intelli's got different stats, hasn't it? It's weird, that. The dock needs a, a break and the beast is right in front of you. What do you do? Floor it. Mm, no. We want to live. We want to live. Of course we do. We, we would prefer to live. At the end of this stream, I'm thinking of releasing the next Let's Build episode or shall I release it tomorrow? What does everybody want me to do? Because I normally release them about four o'clock-ish my time. So, I don't know. Major noob question, so sorry in advance, but does the beast have any mechanics? Is it just tank and spike? Yes, he does. He has a reflect and a nuke. But with Trader, he doesn't. Um, as he's being killed, he will spawn two sets of adds. The pinks can completely heal him. But once the two spawns are gone, he is tank and spank. And with a Trader, he's almost completely tank and spank apart from the add spawn. Yeah. Oh, tank, it's like I'm Alice. 
Mongo absorbs. I'm Alice, Mongo absorbs. And that's kind of it. <laughs> We got an assist macro, so I've only got this one, and then like that one, and then follow Savic. <laughs> okay, macro. Kill. Assist. Matok, I'm thinking, is going to be the sensible person to uh, assist. There we go. certain points on his health bar at a certain percentage he will spawn at. Without Grand Theft Humidity though, he will pop up a 1k reflect and also do a massive nuke. Beast hit you for ooh, points of damage, yeah. Get the blockers back up again. 300 recompiler is on the dock at the minute <laughs> it was on this too <laughs> thought the dock can make better use of it than this I'll get another one kind of deal you know for ads to spawn. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Grand Theft back on. And you've drained the living snot out of him. Is it just one pink? More than one is bad with a small team. Ask, Jack, just ask your question. People will know the answer most likely in chat. But you might have to wait if any of them are fighting the beast at the moment and trying not to die in the process. Kill, kill the beast, shark. Sharkiki? If I'm reading that right. Top of my head, I can't remember. And it depends if what weapons you're using as well. Leg shot. <laughs> yeah, make sure you has leg shot. Unbreakable, non-resistible snare. It's so damned useful. 
in certain situations where you need to stop things moving from where they are. on that one or well, someone is that one's on the dock so I'm gonna get it off get off our dock I'm not allowed to hit the dock I just said Pointy stick. Okay, I think we're back on a le beast. Okay, that's the second wave, so as long as we keep Grand Theft on him, it's just tank and spank now. And if we fail to keep Grand Theft on him, then he will nuke and have a reflect from time to time. So always bring the trader with you. on due to that keep him healthy and alive I'm not sure who first discovered Grand Theft Humidity stops him nuking but whoever did was a genuous made the raid a hell of a lot simpler you'd have to just sit out the damage which made it take longer to kill him because obviously you can't hit him while he has reflect well you can but he's not taking any damage you are you know what I re-watched last night on um, I think it was on Netflix uh, it was Ghostbusters the original Ghostbusters Grand Theft Humidity working since some recent not really recent but still yeah it's probably since the 18.7 maybe, I don't know. Maybe later than that even. Or more recent than that. Yeah, rewatched um, Ghostbusters, you know what? Still a great movie. Still charming. sat doing this, I think. Been at the PC too long today, perhaps. Matox says, guys! We 
got to run some 12 mans. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. No pants, so I'm not bidding on anything anyway. Helm, gloves, sleeve, a couple of stars. But I don't really know how to do the... Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to work your bot, that's the thing. Uh, oh, God. You've all got, you've got like, scripts and stuff, and I don't. Oh, God. Zinzig, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I don't know how to work the bot, if I'm honest, so... How do I add all the beast loot to the bot? Loot clear, okay. Loot clear, items cleared. There's nothing like a good old beast, I agree. That just needs to have my pants. And um, I panned click through it. So apostrophe I pandy? No. Or is it just panned? Ah. Raid loot tables. I got you. Okay. So let's have a quick look. We've got. Oh, good God. Where are you? Beast armor, 10 armor. Right, loot table for panned armor. Beast loot table. Right, we've got arm plates of violence. HR on here somewhere. Okay, and we've got... Yeah, there's two of them. Two of those. Gloves. Where are gloves? Add to one. Helmet of hypocrisy. Where are you? Add. Hammer. I'll have to come to that in a sec. Right, that's all the armour. Back. Uh, where are we now? Beast armor, beast weapons. Beast weapon table. Okay, we got one of them. Um, the hell is that? Angst. Got an angst and a sloth. Okay, there's a sloth. Got another Lord of Abandonment. And a Lust. Then Sunset Hilt. And Sunrise Hilt. And then Stars, we've got... Ingenuity and freedom, okay. Uh, stars. I see how it works, it's really good. Um, I'm just slow because I've never done it before. Star of freedom. Star of freedom and star of ingenuity. Where's that? Ingenuity. And then a unknown path. What the hell would that come under? Beast armor, Yeah, well, anyway, there's one. All right. Loot. That looks good. 
Okay. And up. Oh. You will be a great raid leader one day. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> slowest slowest dude ever oh sorry guys the corpse has rotted no gear for anyone did I add that did I add a chaos I don't think I added chaos did I uh, wait there wait there wait there wait there beast weapons And there you go. One more item. Derp. Okay, so that's all the beast stuff added. There's only like me and due to left here. No, everyone's buggered off. <laughs> it's after all that. And I don't think anybody's bid on anything. Just you and me for loot. Okay. I'll grab whatever you like. I'll sit in the room if you need to blitz in. Due to wins it all. Yay! Well, I did it because I wanted to know if I could do it. Is it loot clear, isn't it? It's loot clear. Baby steps, everyone. Oh, anything nice drop? Well, <laughs> just I'm on looking for team. Right, let's have a look. Shush, there we go. Yeah, no box or anything like that. Sweet Tank's been doing this soloing the beast. And like going, who wants a bock? And everyone's going, well, I've got a little alt, but there's no way he can get there. And it's <laughs> Your dock will be able to run here, won't they? Yeah, all of my tunes have got that want a bock have got a bock. So, yeah. It's one of those really. It's sort of like, ah, right then. Um we've done so many raids on streams and stuff, I've ended up winning. You know, little by little. Got one more piece here, another piece there, you know. I'll take a buck for social on my level 43 trader. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, you just got to get to do all the quests to get into Pandemonium, to get the um, plus, get the plus 10 ring, get a full team of people to help you heal all the way to the beast. You need MPs and whatnot to anchor and, and drag you back, etc. And, you know, then, yeah. <laughs> but it is possible. Can be done. People have done it. And so Scott did it on stream, didn't he? And then left his little... Um, I'm pretty sure he did it. And he left his little six twink uh, on the platform for ages while he farmed the beast and then just ran them in for loot. It was awesome.
No pants. And I want pants anyway. Pants, trousers, yeah. Well, this is it, yeah. Trousers is the correct word. Pants in America is usually like underwear, but in the UK it can mean either. It's too short for a bock. <laughs> so he'd just be dragging it. It'd be sort of like, he looked like he was ploughing the field as he's running across Old Athens. That's, that's a Jutu's dock in the making. A little further along the mine. Just a little bit. Or is this your wife's? I think this is his wife's. Is this the, your wife's tune? That doesn't have a leg implant. <laughs> oh, it's at yours, but she's playing it for you. Yeah, that's handy. Well, in the UK, it's weird. We kind of say um, pants can be like jogging, um, like tracksuit, track wear, stuff like that would be pants as well. Whereas, yeah, trousers are more formal. They're like jeans are not trousers. They're jeans, you know. Although a lot of old people will say, have you got any of those um, jeans trousers? You know, meaning denim trousers. It's just... Uh, Whatever. And Iraq didn't want anything but thanks for the raid. Okay. Right. As leaving. I am leaving the domain. Yes, I am. I will I'll release the next uh, What's It video. I will release actually tomorrow, I think, at the usual time. Give everyone a chance to watch the other one, etc. Because there's also the, the Adonis stream for people to watch in between it, so... So it's sort of post that. Yeah, Sweet Tank's in his own panned instance. He's got the double power belt that I don't need on anything, I don't think. All the tunes that would use it have got it already, I think. Boom, and there, there we were, gone. So I shall leave Cabbage Net in peace. I'm sure Mihalik is wanting to use it for one thing or another. He didn't have pants or gloves when I started him up again, or a main weapon. Oh my god. So there we go. Okay, who else may be streaming the anarchy? And if not, who else can we go raid? I love raiding channels, it's always awesome. That one's in German, Cohen doesn't like it. Scott hasn't been on for a little while, he's busy in real life as far as I know. What about Che? Is Che, is che doing a stream? He probably is, he usually is, he is. He's doing a stream, he's doing that new Val what's it, whatever game. So, okay. Mihalik, yes. What's up? You know, Cal apostrophe. <laughs> Tomorrow I finish by 6pm your time if you want to do real stuff. Okay. Thank you very much. And good night. Right. Raid time. Go raid Mr. Che. All aboard. Go and wave to Che. He's a nice chap. He will talk to you and everything else. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et so, yes, please all hurry along to Che. And I will just say bye for now. <laughs>